Um, well, it's just water, really. Like, if you can imagine a waterfall, it's uh, like that. And the waterfall erodes the rock it goes over. But uh, this is just um, pressurizing the water to very high pressures. And it comes out of a tiny nozzle, which is about a millimeter wide. And you can cut with it. And uh, it's just incredible that the force manages to cut, but it does. And uh, this, it's a supersonic jet, I think. And it's coming out about 2,000 miles an hour and it hits the metal or whatever. We've got carbon fiber and it can, all, it can machine any material. And you can and cannot, sometimes you can do water only and other times you can put abrasive in and that helps it. It just goes faster and you can cut using the abrasive. And the typical abrasive we use is something called garnet. So um, it is like your garnets you get in jewelry, but uh, it's obviously not the high quality ones that you get. So. This is, I mean, you're not, you're not cutting through pieces of cheese with this thing, are you? Like, tell me about some of the things you can cut with it. Well, we're not, but there are people that I'm sure do use it for cutting cheese. I mean, I know they use it for cutting fish and uh, cakes and things like that and carpets for cars, but our one is just um, quite specialised. It's five axis, so we can machine um, different uh, objects out of it. Um, but mainly aerospace alloys and uh, uh, high-tech things like six millimetre titanium or 60 millimeter titanium, it doesn't really matter which really. So nickel alloys, um, we can do the normal steel and things, but uh, it's quite, some of it's specialist, some of it isn't, depending on what we want. Um, it's probably mostly used for research, but we do have the occasional application that comes in from industry where they want something done, but we're not what we call a job shop. We're not designed to, you know, cut day in, day out.